Hi, this is Don Kedal with another Israel Report, and today I am reporting just along the Gaza border. Just behind me here is uh, Gaza, the Gaza Strip, the northern Gaza Strip, where uh, the latest bombardment of rocket attacks just into Zderot over here in front of me have been taking place. And so, what's the deal? Basically, Hamas and uh, all the other you know, terrorist organizations that are in the Gaza Strip uh, apparently uh, have the, the, the war fever, you know, it's been a long time since, since the last war in 2014 and apparently I guess they just feel that they just can't get enough of uh, antagonizing the Israeli nation and the people here living in the south of Israel and bombarding them with rockets. And so in the past three days now, there have been continual uh, rocket fires, uh, r firing rockets into Israel just from over here. And up there you'll see there's a, maybe you can see in the background, there's a blimp, uh, a security blimp to uh, be able to uh, survey the area to help keep this border secure with Israel. Um, unfortunately, in response to those uh, attacks, the Israeli Air Force, when uh, going in and uh, eliminating those threats and those targets that were firing rockets into Israel, one of our Israeli uh, pilots was uh, actually uh, killed in the latest uh, airstrikes, and that was extremely unfortunate. Um, just as he was landing, he had to make a crash landing, apparently, from what I understood from the report. I don't have the full uh, um, assessment. Uh, of course, with the uh, Israeli military, it'll take a, quite a while till they do an inv investigation as to what took place uh, and why uh, he had to make a crash landing. Um, but anyhow, the, unfortunately, the pilot was uh, killed in the crash landing. His co-pilot was able to uh, eject in time, so he was uh, he came out unscathed. Praise God! So at least one of them made it. Um, but that was just an unfortunate blow uh, in the attempt to stop the constant bo bombardment of rockets right here. On the same day as they were firing rockets into Israel, there was a another uh, flotilla attempt into the Gaza Strip. Uh, from Europe coming fr uh, I believe uh, predominantly with uh, Swedish uh, freedom fighters you know uh, uh, freedom activists um, and it's just unfortunate it's so stupid you know these people keep trying to send in flotillas to break the enclosure that there is on, uh, on the Gaza Strip from the sea because what we're trying to do as a nation because you ne people need to understand what we're talking about here is that the Gaza Strip it's, it's on the shoreline of, of the of the of the Israeli border and f it's not that we're trying to keep the Gaza Strip from receiving aid or, or food or shipments from, you know, let's, wherever in the world, doesn't matter. Just like any nation that, that, that is able to receive um, shipments by, by sea uh, along their, their uh, coast, it, it's completely okay. The only thing is that unfortunately, because this is not a normal nation, this is not a normal country, um, this is a terrorist bed. Uh, land o over here. Uh, not the people, not all the people here. I'm, what I'm saying is that it's controlled by terrorists. It's controlled. The leadership, our terrorist organization, they rule the Gaza Strip with an iron fist and uh, the Gazans are really, they're held captive by these thugs and unfortunately by the European uh, nations, the United States, they're promoted, they're, they're, they're encouraged to continue their, uh, their tyrannical reign over the Gazans. And so because of that reality that Israel is facing and is up against, and we've allowed them to have the Gaza Strip without military control, without any, anything like that, they give them their real sovereign freedom to do whatever they want, yet they still fire rockets into Israel, they still try to dig tunnels, just not very far from me. I mean, a tunnel could, there could be a terrorist pop up anywhere from here, and it has happened in the Nahal Oz community just behind me, where terrorists popped up and they attacked the soldiers, okay? So the reality is this, that they dig tunnels, they fire rockets, they, they, they just are constantly committed to the destruction of the nation of, of Israel, and we have to do what we need to do in order to secure our border and to secure our nation. So that's the reality, and if the people don't like it, if they don't like that we um, uh, have to impose such a sanction of, of controlling whatever comes in and comes out to the best of our ability into the Gaza Strip because we don't want them to arm themselves with, with uh, armaments from Iran or, or, or any other country that is promoting these terrorists. That's what we have to do. 
It is not a complete closure. All it has to do is that any shipment that comes in, it has to go through our uh, scanning and we spend millions of shekels every year to, to, to supervise, to, to scan through all of the contents that goes into the Gaza Strip and it can continue on if it doesn't have any armaments or anything of any weapons of mass destruction to destroy our nation. So that's the reality of what's going on lately here in Israel. I wanted to just give you a quick update about that from the front lines here in Israel. Again, this is Dog Kira reporting to you from Israel. Have a wonderful weekend. Shabbat Shalom from the land of Israel. Goodbye.